Baobab. 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 You can see because of the shade, the elephants stand under here a long time during the hot day. And of course, they're peeling the bark off. Devastating this forest. This is a favorite place for them to hang out, it looks like. A whole truckload of elephant dung here. Well, after we left the boabab tree, we finished tracking, the, the, tracking up to the uh, elephants, and finally we spotted them. And uh, they were in a real thick area, and there was about 35 of them, and they had found themselves a shady tree, and they had surrounded that tree. The rear ends was to us. We had the wind perfect in our face, and we decided to put a stalk on. Once we started getting within range, we realized it was too thick to be able to get a shot standing up, so we actually had to get out on our hands and knees and move in closer, and I actually had to take the shot from my knees. Well, after I got the shot in, uh, that female, she was bound and determined she was gonna charge us. So we had to crawl backwards real slow until we got out of sight from her. We decided to head back to the truck and have lunch and wait around and, and give the elephant time to expire. And then we were gonna go back in and recover him. <laughs> I'm glad you got it, buddy. Me too. <laughs> Delani, thank you very much. This was the hunt of a lifetime. It was thank so you. exciting. Thank you. you did an excellent job. Africa Big Hunt. They're hunting with Karande Safaris. Folks, this is a first class operation. The third day of the hunt, by 10 o'clock in the morning, he got me within 30 yards of this animal. There was a whole herd of them. I don't have a clue, any idea how many of them there were. I think we probably had maybe 25. 20, 25. 25 elephants, a lot of cows and calves, which makes it very dangerous. And uh, you got me up there. I never, I never felt one hint of fear. You, you had control of the situation the entire time. I gotta tell you what, folks, this was a hunt of a lifetime. I can't say enough about it. I appreciate it to Lonnie. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you so very much. Thank you. Thank you to the team. Thanks to everyone. Yes, everyone. This was a team effort, and uh, I don't know. I'm kind of speechless on it. I'm just so excited. I don't know what else to say. Once we had the elephant down, we got our flip phones out and called. We had three different villages that we called, and they sent representatives from those villages with uh, machetes and knives and it, it was in a matter of couple of hours they had 
hundred pound slabs of meat they threw on their back and back to their village they went. They have no way to, uh, they have no refrigeration. So, uh, you know, you can only, this meat will only stay fresh so long. So uh, we've, we fed three different villages off of the meat from that elephant. You know, Africa is probably uh, the most funnest place I've ever gone to hunt, and I've hunted all over the world. And the reason I like to go there is because um, I know I'm hep helping the economy there. I know if it weren't for hunters spending the money, there wouldn't be the staff that's needed to police these national forests and protect the animals. So I know I'm helping the economy there, but I also know I'm going to see all kinds of game. I'm going to experience things that you just don't experience here. And the people are extremely friendly. And it's not just a hunt, it's an adventure every time I go over there.